Hey boys and girls, uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about some of the key features that we see that Tesla has put in place to uh, save the environment. As you all probably know, this is uh, Earth Week, and so it makes sense that we would uh, say a little bit of something about how Tesla is, uh, is promoting that. So let's start off with uh, Chrome. Okay, when I was young, people used to have cars and they were nothing but Chrome. The bumpers were gigantic and they were all chrome. The trim was everywhere was chrome. And that was the taste in the olden days. Uh, but over time, people have gotten away from chrome for a lot of reasons. One, it's, um, it's really bad for the environment. People that work in chrome factories and whatnot, a lot of them wound up with heavy metals in their, uh, in their bloodstream and whatnot. Not so good for... Uh, not, not so good for that person and definitely not good for any kids you want to have. So if we look at the uh, Model S, you can see the migration. So you can see in the Model S where the green parts are. That used to be chrome. Then we get to the Model X and uh, a little less chrome. Model 3 had very little chrome, but the Model Y has none. And getting rid of chrome to me is not going to be any, uh, any hardship as far as I'm concerned. Chrome is not my, uh, I've never really been kind of a chrome guy. My vehicle doesn't have any chrome on it either. So I, I think that this is a, a good improvement for the planet. So let's walk over here and while we're walking, this is our classroom. This is where we train people on how to use our, um, our design profit systems and lean design systems. So anyway, this is uh, this right here is the corner glass uh, that goes into the rear quarter panel. And you can see the glass is here. Normally, these, uh, these trim pieces would be chrome, but they're not. So this is going to be easy to recycle. Just melt out the, uh, sorry, uh, melt out the glue and remove the glass, throw it in one direction, and melt the other parts. So this is the, um, this is the header that you'd find uh, between the doors. And this is also just, uh, just painted. Again, it's going to be easy to tear out the uh, rubber parts and recycle it. This is another piece that you traditionally see. This is a corner marker for, uh, it's got a camera in it and the corner marker on top of it. This thing would normally be chrome, but it's not. On the uh, Model 3, this part right here used to be chrome. Now it's just, uh, it's just painted flat black or satin black. Let's look down here and have a look at the door handles. This is the first year for Tesla to have a door handle that's just uh, in black, not uh, no chrome. And then one of my favorites, um, this was one of the things that I also proposed when I was still working at Ford in the 80s. And, um, and what I wanted, one of the things that I thought was a good idea was the fact that if this was made as a module, people would actually take it apart and recycle it. So we've gone through different systems or situations where Recycling has been a good idea and then it falls out of favor because everybody wants cheap and on and on. But if I have this, it's real simple for me to just yank this out, throw it into a bin. Um, it's easy to get the, the, motor and the, um, the motor and the gearbox out and click, click, I'm all done. I can toss it into, uh, into the plastics pile and toss this into the aluminum pile no big deal, it goes really, really fast. And for recycling, you have to make sure that the guys can actually make money at it. People don't wanna pay extra money for, for labor to get things to pieces. So that's another big advantage that you have in using, um, in using the uh, door module. So let's just wander out here for a bit. Okay, so um, one of the other things that uh, other people say, oh, that's really bad, but I think is really good, Tesla only paints where it has to paint. It, there's none of this stuff is painted, none of it. And uh, although there are other companies that do something similar to this, no one does it to this extent. And the reason I think is because, quite frankly, the frunk is con it's completely covered up by uh, trim pieces. So this, I think, is a great idea. And then we come over here to the finished product. This is our second Tesla, the one we're going to be using for testing. And, um, and you just look at it, and, and quite frankly, the lines speak to themselves, they, for themselves. We don't really need to have a lot of chrome. I, like I said, I'm not, a, I'm not a chrome fan. There's none on my car. 
And uh, although blue's not my favorite color, I like the white one and the red one probably comes in second. But anyway, this, this really does appeal to, to people. Clean lines, nothing interrupted. It doesn't have to have a lot of things that draw your eye to it. The whole car kind of, uh, kind of gives you the, its own little symphony. So anyway, that's, uh, that's our little uh, vignette uh, here today. Uh, again, make sure that you tip those cashiers and have yourself a great day. Thanks for watching Monroe Live.